Hi, my name is Matt Nelson, primary grader of CGC Comics. I've been a lifelong collector of comic books, and I'm proud to work for CGC, who to date has graded over 5 million comic books since 2000. We grade everything from new comics to the most valuable comics in the world. In fact, one of our certified comics, an Action One, graded 8.5, sold for $3.25 million, a world record. Today, we're going to talk about what you need to know on grading comic books. So learning how to grade comic books is extremely important because the grade of a comic book determines its value. Even though there may be many copies out there of a particular comic that you want to buy, the grade will determine what it's worth. So learning how to grade comic books is very important. This grade, sometimes comics are low grade, sometimes they're high grade. They may have all kinds of defects on them, like creases and bends, tears, staining, missing pieces. All of these things factor into the grade to determine the value of the comic book. So one of the questions is, why should I have my comic book graded by CGC? Well, back in the day when collecting started in the 60s, grading wasn't that important. Uh, most people just wanted to have a copy to read. But over time, comics became more valuable and grading became a lot more critical. The problem was is that everybody had their own grading standards. Somebody's fine might have been somebody else's BF. There was no consensus. So when CDC opened in 2000 with their grading standards, it established that consensus and leveled the playing field for collectors. This allowed everyone to trust the grade that CGC assigned, certified grade, which allowed liquidity in the market. People knew exactly what their comic book was graded if it was encapsulated by CGC. When CGC opened, they established a new grading scale that consisted of 25 different grades between 0.5, which is a poor, up to 10.0, which is perfect mint. And within this grading scale, all the comics we, we grade fall in between those ranges. And the scale is very important because this determines value. Obviously, the lower the grade, the lower the value. And within this scale, comic books can fall in, in any different grade depending on the defects on the book, how many creases it has, pieces that might be missing, stains, tape. And CGC takes the, each comic book and evaluates those defects, ties them together, and based on our grading standards that we've developed over the past 20 years, we assign a grade to that comic book. So what I have here is a graded, CGC graded copy of Hulk 181, which is the first full appearance of Wolverine. As you can see here on our label in the top corner, we've assigned this one a 5.0, which is in the middle of the range between 0.5 and 10. The 5.0 is, is what we call a mid-grade copy. So this copy here that's 5.0, it presents very well, but it has some light defects to the cover, some creasing and, and some stain. And uh, we also identify the book here and the date and the publisher that it came out. And we have the CGC Universal grade, which means that the book is unrestored. And also because it's 5.0 and Universal, it's complete. And uh, we also assign a page quality too as well. The interior pages, we, uh, we assign a grade based on its color which can be an indication of its age. Obviously, white pages is the best, and they can be as bad as brittle, which means that they're brown and starting to fall apart. Collectors from all over the world can submit to CGC, either at our facility through the mail or at shows. Uh, as the comics come in, they're uh, put into the system, and once they hit the grading room, there's a team of graders that are there that analyze the comic book and assign grade and page quality and defects, and it works like this. The first grader takes the book out of the bag, make sure the comic is complete by counting every page and assuming it's complete, they move on to the next step, which is to identify the page quality. And so once they look at the page color and decide if it's white or off white or cream to off white or, or slightly brittle, they enter that. Then they assess the defects on the book. They check the front and back cover, the inside covers. They look for stains, creasing, missing pieces, fading, tears, anything like that. Those are noted in the system, the ones that are pertinent to the grade. And once that's finished, then they analyze the book and the defects all together and arrive at a grade. And once again, that grade is going to be somewhere between a 0.5 and a 10.0. Once that's finished, the book passes to the next grader who checks, they also check everything and they assign a grade, but they don't see what the grade from the first grader is. And once they arrive at a grade, they check it with the pre-grader. And if they arrive and then they decide if that's the final grade they want to make, and then they give the final grade to the book, and off it goes to encapsulation. So of the two ways that you can submit comics to CGC, which is either at shows or through the mail, uh, at shows, we take them at our booth, if we're set up at a show, and we have our calendar on our website. Uh, you can go to the comic show to our booth and actually submit them. They will be brought back to our facility in, in Sarasota, Florida, at which point we grade them. Uh, the main way people do it is to actually mail the books into our facility, using an online form that we have on our website. Uh, 
to protect your comic books to make sure that they get here safely uh obviously cardboard heavy cardboard is recommended in the box we also sell shipping kits uh, for people who are unsure which can be found on our website and uh it would be a good idea to also ensure the package for the value of the comics and once they arrive here our facility has full security and also a large safe and the comics are uh, everything is insured while it's here on the property so everything is safe once the comics arrive Sometimes people ask me about whether comic books get regraded over time. Um, usually, there's two reasons why they get regraded. Uh, one is to possibly increase the grade, and our sister company, CCS, does a service called pressing, which is very popular among collectors. There are certain defects that can come out of a comic book if it's safely pressed, and in some cases, this may actually raise the grade of the comic book. So if people look at their comics and decide maybe they can get a higher grade, then they'll submit them to CCS, have them pressed, and then have them regraded at CGC. Uh, the other reason people usually crack comics out and have them regraded is to have them signed by a creator or a uh, famous person, uh, like the cast of Star Wars, signing Star Wars comics, that's a big one. And so people will have those comics cracked out and either the creators will be at the shows, the comic shows, or we do in-house signings here at CGC. And after they're signed, they go back in the grading room to get regraded. And then they're, once that happens, they are now entered uh, or, uh, classified under our signature series uh, label here, which is the yellow label, different from our blue universal label. And here it has the information of who signed it and on what date. And in this case, you can see this is an Eternals one that has a signature on the front cover. In terms of how many people grade a comic in our grading room, typically we have two, but we can have as many as five or six people that grade a comic book. It depends on if we need to come to a consensus on a grade or for more higher value comics, we have more people uh, on the team that are going to uh, grade the comic books. So, for instance, if we get like an Action 1 in, which is First Prince of Superman, the most valuable comic in the world, uh, we will have several people actually analyze the book so we can arrive at a, an accurate grade, make sure we check it for restoration. And, uh, and so, yeah, it just really depends on a few factors, but it can be from a couple to several. So again, I'm Matt Nelson. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like or a comment below. And if you have any more questions about comic book grading, make sure to check our website, cdccomics.com. We have a lot of information there. And I hope to see you at a show.